This is always the moment of truth, whether it actually starts working or not. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm so glad that uh, we can join again and we can pray the Mass. This weekend, uh, always the first weekend right after Christmas, we celebrate the Feast of the Holy Family. And um, it's a wonderful feast day, and I'm so glad that you're able to join with us. So let's begin Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. And now, my brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, Lord mercy. have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us Mary as our mother and St. Joseph as the guardian of the church. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have, Christ mercy. have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, Lord, mercy. have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And glory to God in the highest, and Amen. on earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. Good will. We, we praise, praise you, you, we bless you, we adore you, we, adore you, we glorify you. you. We, we give, give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God heavenly, heavenly King, King, O God, Almighty Father, Father Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lord God Lamb of God, Lord Son of the Father, Father you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O oh God, who were pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family, graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and the bonds of charity. And so in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal rewards. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the book of Barak. God sets a father in honor over his children. A mother's authority he confirms over her sons. Whoever honors his father atones for sins and preserves himself from them. When he prays, he is heard. He stores up riches who, re who reveres his mother. Whoever honors his father is gladdened by children and when he prays is heard. Whoever reveres his father will live a long life. He who obeys his father brings comfort to his mother. My son, take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives. Even if his mind fail, be considerate of him. Revile him not all the days of his life. Kindness to a father will not be forgotten. Firmly planted against the debt of your sins. A house raised in justice to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. 
A response is, Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in His ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be in favor. Blessed, Blessed are, are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recess of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those, are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed, blessed are, are those, those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. The second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Col Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, you must also do. And over all these, put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, with gratitude in your heart to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him, the word of the Lord. Thanks, thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. Lord. When the days were completed for their purification, according to the law of Moses, they took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. When they have fulfilled all of the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Well, today is one of my favorite feasts, and it's the Feast of the, the Holy Family. And it's always the one that we celebrate um, the Sunday immediately after Christmas, which makes sense. You know, Christmas is the day that we liturgically, we mark the birth of Jesus, and at that point, Mary and Joseph and Jesus become a family. And so the first chance we get, we celebrate the Feast of, of the Holy Family. And, uh, you know, a few days uh, before Christmas, uh, some uh, friends of mine, Kristen and Art, they uh, sent me uh, a video, I think Kristen sent me a video off of her phone. And it was for, uh, for my entertainment. It was their three kids. They have three girls, uh, Emma and Sam and Maggie. And uh, they have the habit of taking their parents' phones and then recording skits on them that they make up themselves and they, they act in. Of course, they're always the star of their videos. And, um, and you know, different times, it's different goofy things they do. Sometimes they, they lip sync to a song, and sometimes they put on a play or a skit. 
And this one was them doing the nativity scene, the birth of Jesus. And it was really hard for them to do because uh, with only the three of them, they had to be Mary and Joseph, and poor Maggie, she had to be both the donkey and Jesus. <laughs> and in the middle of it, the phone fell over. But you know what I, I loved about that was that for, for this, this family, um, being able to enjoy one of those company, even though they were being, being quarantined at different times, being stuck together, they, they enjoyed each other. But also, that their faith, you know, for these three girls, their faith is just part of their lives. It's part of, of how they live. And, and, and along with everything else, it's, it's, what, it's part of how they go through life. And, and I, I love that. And I love that what Kristen and Art are doing in, in raising their, their kids so that faith is just part of the air they breathe in their family. And, you know, that's what this feast day is about. Now, I have to tell you, you know, Kristen and Art and, and uh, uh, Emma and Sam and Maggie, are they the perfect family? They are not. In fact, I can tell you, they are crazy. They're, but, but they come from a long line of crazy families. And, and so do we all. I have never, ever met the perfect family. But I have met along the way a lot of holy families. Maybe we're fractured a little bit. Maybe we have this or that that doesn't go right. Maybe this and that is out of place. Maybe we're not exactly the family that Norman Rockwell would paint. It's okay. It's all right for us to be imperfect. It's all right for our families to be imperfect. Even the family of Jesus. You, if you go back in Matthew's Gospel and look at that genealogy, so-and-so begat, so-and-so begat, so-and-so, you know, there's a lot of skeletons in the family of, of Jesus as well. We don't celebrate the feast of the perfect family. We celebrate the feast of the holy family. Yours and mine and our whole family of faith. And what I pray for is this, as we celebrate this feast day, is that we don't look for one another, in, in one another for perfection. Instead, when we look at our families, we should look for the things that St. Paul says are the most important. To look for faith and to try as families to be faithful, to really trust and to cling to Jesus Christ as our Savior. He's the only one who can save us. To be people of hope, always, no matter how difficult times can be, to be people of hope. And most of all, to be people of love. If we can have families of faith, hope, and love, it doesn't matter whether we have the perfect family. What matters is that we will then have a holy family. And this feast day is yours as well. And now, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, 
who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now let us join our hearts in prayer to our Father in heaven for the needs of every member of our human family. We pray for our church and our parish community that Christ's peace and a dedication to thankfulness will reign in our life together as family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. We pray for parents, guardians, and teachers that they may always realize the preciousness of the young lives that are in their care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for children who are lost and abandoned. We pray for those who are abducted and trafficked. We pray that through God's loving providence, they will find homes quickly and safely. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all families in crisis, for families that are mourning, for families that are estranged or separated, for families that are suffering worry and anxiety and sickness during this pandemic, that Christ may be present to them and that this family will know their loving, the loving support of friends and neighbors. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all of our friends and our family members who have died, and especially those who are close to all of us who are praying this Mass together, that they may live in the presence of God forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And finally, we, we pause to add our own prayers, those that we hold in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Hear are the prayers of your family gathered around your table, O Lord, that we may learn to respect and love one another as brothers and sisters. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed Bless be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you, Lord, this sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that, through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and St. Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and your peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
And the Lord be with you. And with your, with spirit. your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them, lift up, them up to, up the, to Lord. the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it right, is right and just. And just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him, the holy exchange that restores our life has shown forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, we proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Nelson our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your, and with spirit. your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take away, away the sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Now, of course, is the time when Catholics, when they come to Mass, are able to come forward and receive Jesus in the Eucharist, body, blood, soul, and divinity. And uh, for those who are unable to come to Mass uh, these days, this is the hardest part, uh, not being able to receive our Lord in the Eucharist. And uh, but what the Church tells us that we can do, because our Lord always wants to share grace with us and to be present with us, that if, if we unite our desire to, to receive our Lord to the desire that Jesus has to be one with us, in a very special way, Jesus becomes present to each one of us in what we call spiritual communion. So let's make that prayer of desire now that Jesus will come to us. Let us pray. Bring those you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your, with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I hope you're enjoying this weekend and still enjoying the, uh, the Christmas season in the church. We celebrate the Christmas season uh, all the way up until at least the baptism of the Lord. Some people even count in February the presentation. And I hope you're able to be enjoying this and then... Uh, We'll see you again uh, next time, probably for, uh, for New Year's, uh, the, the Feast of Mary, the Mother of God. God bless you. Thank you, Father.